more people, former patients of a Valley doctor under indictment are coming forward. A woman we hear from tonight claims she is at risk for contracting a deadly disease. She claims the risk is due to treatment she received from Dr. Jorge Zamora Quesada. Channel 5's Trayson Bragg met with the woman. He is in our studio with more. Trayson. Christine, Oscar, imagine waking up every day wondering, is today the day? Is today the day I learn I've developed a deadly form of cancer? One Valley woman tells us that's her daily concern thanks to an unnecessary treatment. We go to the hymn for help. And he took advantage of us. Not only did he take advantage of us, he hurt us. The year 2005 changed Donna Heron's life forever. She tells us that's the year she began seeing the now federally indicted Dr. Jorge Zamora Quisada. At the time I had a cyst in my knee uh, behind my patella. Heron tells us initially she felt nothing but gratitude for the doctor. He treated her knee and alleviated some of her pain. But then he um, started doing all kinds of ridiculous tests, you know, just whatever he could come up with. Uh, he's a rheumatologist. Why would he be testing me for indigestion? Things like that. Heron says Zamora Quisada eventually found a diagnosis. And he diagnosed me with rheumatoid arthritis. Heron claims the doctor convinced her a powerful drug treatment he prescribed was needed to save her quality of life. So she agreed to the treatments which came with a risk. I had to sign a waiver because the primary side effect is lymphoma. Lymphoma is cancer of the lymphatic system. It impacts the spleen, bone marrow, lymph nodes, and thymus glands. She says she received the treatments for approximately eight months. Heron says then Zamora Quisada abruptly ended the treatments. Something seemed odd, so she decided to get a second opinion from not one, but two doctors. What she learned was shocking. I don't have rheumatoid arthritis. That man put my life at risk so that he could make money. Heron tells us fighting off the fear of developing lymphoma is an everyday battle. It's, it's a very frightening thought just the cancer itself and then what the other problems that come along with it. Heron says money isn't the answer. It's not going to take the risk that I live with away. I want justice. In her pursuit for justice, Heron tells us she's contacted the FBI and given her statement. She says the rest is in the hands of the court. Heron also told us she found strength in giving her testimony to the authorities. In the studio, Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News at 10.